Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for, ooh, you have an Ace of Cups. This is for the Sagittarius sign. Let's look into your channeled message Sagittarius. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? What can I get for the Sagittarius sign? We will pick up love, career, money, and general situationship. I'm looking into July, August energy. If I will be able to pick up a specific timeline, I'll let you know. What's the guided message for you? Let's look at your situation. Let's look at your focus. You know, Saturn is retrograde. So I feel like because Saturn is retrograde, um there's a restructuring like something is being restructured like okay is this how do you want to go because we've you know energetically tapping into the ethers we're now tomorrow is july month already okay so tomorrow it's going to be july month and it looks like the universe is gonna the the things that we work on from like January this is not astrology somehow my my guide is the stars but intuitively as I pick up eth the ethers energy so January to June we work what are the things that you work on January to June aspiration ambitions people that came back people that gave you lesson so the buildup of energy between January to June there is a lot of buildup of energy people that came back people that you met new people new connection lesson learned you know life experience life adventure romantic friendship now Saturn is gonna be positioned somehow to retrograde and to look into to backtrack and see um, some things that you kind of revise some things that you know rose colored glass i'm hearing wrote rose colored glass because saturn is structure so those things that you build up between jan to june um is something that you would probably put a structure okay like if you want to carry it whatever you build up you know whatever aspiration love friendship business that you build up and experience jan to june saturn retrograde it looks like this is not astrology this is just my intuition where it's going to be highlighted and somehow S saturn is asking us you know with my intuition to look into the structure of that so we might get some return into people connection that or people connection people situation or it could be offers could be idea it could be project that oh if you want to carry this july to you know because it's four months to december probably probably until November put a structure okay so it's like um it's I'm still soaking in the energy but it's um it's it's very strict okay but it's gonna put structure into what we build January to June okay so if you miss something it's it would still somehow return but you have to put a structure on it okay like okay this is one is returning you have to put structure in it if you want to carry that or want to bring that over july to december up until probably next year i hope it's making sense guys that is my intuition okay okay sorry oversharing um the magician card okay what can i get for the sagittarius and oh five of swords the death card okay so you're starting the reading Sagittarius with the will of fortune you have the will of fortune you have the will of fortune you have the ace of wands and you have the queen of cups okay so in terms of collective energy in terms of energy checked in um, you want to it looks like you're losing okay like you want to loosen up like the will of fortune um okay you know sunshine i want to travel want to do this like you're looking for something fun exciting not too dramatic but 
I think it's reward, you know, like the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Wands, like you want to burn your energy into something rewarding, something fun, but not too exhausting. It's something meaningful, but something not karmic, you know, like um, it's both lighthearted, but not too intense and too dramatic, okay? So it's, it's a feeling of the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Wands, you want to hang out, you want to connect, you want to talk about light-hearted energy. You crave for something light, cool, chill, you know. Um, you want to rest your emotions, you know. And also, I think the reason why you're craving for a light-hearted conversation, light-hearted moment, uh, you know, moment or conversation or people connection that... You know, it's enough to trigger you to feel the depth of, you know, lesson learned. Like, you know, it's not too intense. Like, you could be talking about your challenges, but you're not crying. Okay. Uh, you could be doing something exciting, but it's not extreme. Just enough to trigger, you know, the happiness vibe, the feeling alive vibe, you know. I think it's, it's very helpful to your psychic. Uh, with the queen of cups i think you know what it's been so intense i want to listen to the voice of my psychic my intuition so i'm just gonna do a light-hearted moment not too intense not too dramatic just enough to ignite passion um fun and depth you know soul okay i like it yeah look at that the hermit card this is you you know you're craving for something soul conversation but not too intense that it you know it draws you out your energy fun but not too extreme that um you forget about your name the next day <laughs> um i feel like it's very balanced like your fire is lit but it's very balanced because if you look at the ace of wands in here like look at that Look at that. Look at the Ace of Wands. I want to do something nice and exciting and soulful, but not to a point where I'm going to exhaust myself that I don't have an energy the next day. So you're looking for um, very lighthearted, very balanced kind of activity, connection. Um, you're craving for that, okay? Very balanced. Your, your, your fire, your passion, um, it's lit, but it's very balanced, okay? Okay, so the Queen of Cups, I think you're recharging your intuition in here. Yeah, Eight of Swords. You could also be, um, I think, you know, you, you are mentally, emotionally, and intuitively recharging, but you don't want to completely be out of the social circle, Okay. Because Eight of Swords, yeah. So for some of you, like Hermit card, yep, I'm going to reflect, but I don't want to completely isolate myself to the social uh, world. So it's very balanced. Like you go out, but you, ha you have boundaries, okay? Yep, we can go for a dinner, but I don't want to go for a drink. You know, I'm going to go home and just reflect and soul, okay? So you've got boundaries, very balanced. And I believe you're doing this because you're... Ch you're recharging emo emotionally, mentally, probably physically, and most especially the Queen of Cups, your psychic. You want your psychic to go, you know, to power up, okay? So you're going out, but not extreme, just lighthearted, okay? I keep repeating myself. Sorry, guys. I hope it, 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 it embeds on you. Now, what's coming towards you? It's so cold here in New Zealand. Oh, my gosh. Now, what's coming towards you, Sagittarius, is that a Two of Cups. This Two of Cups is very romantic, okay? Now they're very romantic. Who is this person? Look at that. Someone is approaching you, and it's very romantic. The history... It could be someone new, but there's a Five of Swords and there is an Emperor card in here. So, what's approaching you is a partnership, a Two of Cups connection. And there's a history of Magician cards, so this is like starting all over again as a partnership, as a friendship, as a dating or getting to know. Okay, so it could be someone new, 
it could also be someone in the past. There's a history. The justice card, this is a like um it's a karmic two of cups return. Okay. Oh, it's a devil card. It's definitely someone in the past. Okay. I want I'm hearing the song I want to be your lover I want to be your lover or it could be like um it could also be if it's not a lover's energy Sagittarius it could be this company this group of people decline you it could be friendship too like you know it could be a group of people that I don't think they're ganging up on you but it's more of you know that this group of people they're talking behind your back or probably they're doing something behind your back you're not like it's a feeling of you're not being invited okay um so it could be you know you're not being invited like there's a specific group of people you know that you're not being invited you're not being included um also for some of you guys it could be romantic for some of you majority it could be you know um a love situation but I don't want to rule out to just be love it could also be friendship and business partnership but the storyline is that they're not including you or they've set you aside you know like can you imagine <laughs> like can you imagine you're being set aside by this person or this group of people or this specific um, boss or manager are they forgetting who you are seriously Sagittarius like you I mean come on so like because I'm really getting like some angst with the five of swords like seriously you forgot to reply you know like five of swords okay seriously you forgot to reply you forgot to respond you forgot to send me the calendar invite the email invite there's something deliberate that they did okay because the five of swords oh come on I wasn't born in the in the blah 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 i'm so modern nowadays so the history of this situation ship sagittarius is that there was an intention to set you aside to exclude you to deliberately ignore you there's some sort of power play in here and they're they've forgotten that you are the power in the play because it's a person who tried to be an emperor but the emperor it downgraded to the death card so so they're connecting with you and they're they're connecting with you sagittarius and they're going to revise their energy so someone is connecting to you in a romantic energy a partnership between you and a group of people too and they realize that why are we having to manipulate the situation because organically you should be partner like I don't know maybe they're intimidated of you maybe they're jealous of you it could be that they find you so interesting that they repel you it could be that that they could be intimidated and then it could be that you know like oh, oh Sagittarius oh never mind you know she's too good or he's too good I'm, I'm getting that I'm getting that angst in here you know especially the emperor card like oh you're too good you're too this but this is just the way you are so there's someone out there realizing that why are we resisting for Sagittarius to join this group or why are we excluding Sagittarius or why am I resisting you Sagittarius you know the problem is on me so someone the devil card someone is realizing I'm resisting you I shouldn't be doing that because you contribute and you bring value so they're probably insecure okay so there's a person connected to a group of people connected to some business partnership or it could be connected to love and they resist you because you're too good or they're probably not yet familiar with your, your energy their insecurity is reflecting upon they're projecting their insecurity to you but they're going to change that because they realize that why am i resisting you why are we excluding you you're such a power player and we should keep you yeah mm. 
um yeah two of wands this is gonna happen very soon so someone you have an intuitive feeling that is resisting you ignoring you because they're insecure or excluding you they'll now come around and treat you as a power player as a muse as a king they will treat you on your worth okay and they would like to get your two of cups so they're also willing to pursue you persuade you and to put a lot of effort to get you back to collect you okay so if there's some sort of missed opportunity with this person situation and if you somehow maybe you resist them i don't know maybe you ignore them um they will persuade you okay so now we're all even that's the vibe now it's even because the death card they will do, like this situation this incoming situation will drop the emperor bossy micromanaging ego they'll drop this because if they don't drop this they'll lose you and they realize why would we why are we going to like it's it's great it's stupid it's stupid to lose you sagittarius you're such a great player you're a great worker a great friend and a great lover maybe in the future but this is what's coming towards you Sagittarius, thank you so much for connecting with me, okay? Thank you so much, guys, for being here. I really, really appreciate you. Please don't forget to click the bell. And also, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you click the subscribe button, you're giving me the energetic permission to connect with you. We'll use the internet as the oracle, as the vortex to talk, to connect. And the advantage of that is I will be spot on. So please do hit the subscribe button, okay? Thank you, guys, and have a great day. Bye-bye.